Would you like to be happy and positive all the time, but most often you're not and you're beating yourself up all the time? Well, how can we cultivate that sense of positivity and happiness within us? That's what I'm going to share in this video. Hi and welcome back to the Conscious Leaders TV. I'm Yannick Matzner. I'm your leadership and business coach. I'm the founder of the Conscious Leaders Mastermind. And here on this channel, I mentor you every single day to be a great leader and go after the life you truly want. But if you're not subscribed, you're not seeing my videos and I can't mentor you. So just go ahead, do it right now. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now let's jump into today's episode, which is all about happiness, how we can cultivate a sense of positivity in our lives. So we think positive thoughts and we feel positive emotions. So we create a life that we are proud of living. I mean, so many people are just trapped in thinking negative thoughts, feeling negative emotions, and it's kind of like holding them back all the time. And I don't know if this is you, but it was me for a long time. So how? Can we rewire ourselves for positivity, for feeling right about ourselves, for making the progress that we make every single day? Because if you're watching this video, chances are you're already a high achiever. You're driven, you're motivated, you want to achieve something big in your life. But now it's time to really focus on feeling great of like achieving in the process of achieving. That's what we're going to focus on right here. And the most basic thing I can give you, and this, is, this will change your life if you understand it and if you truly apply it, is this simple framework right here. It is super simple, but this creates everything in your life. It creates your identity, your personality, and ultimately your beliefs and your reality, your results. This is everything. So it's critical that we understand it. So this is how your personality or your identity is formed. Through your thoughts, your choices, your experiences and your emotions. And in that order, like your emotions drive your thoughts. So when you feel down on yourself, chances are that you're feeling like that you're thinking negative thoughts as well. So for a long time, I was very shy. I was very insecure and I felt powerless. I felt like ashamed of being me because I felt those emotions. Well, I thought the, the same thoughts. Like I thought like, well, who am I to have a girlfriend? Who am I to deserve this? Who am I to be worthy of this? And that sense of unworthiness that is so deeply ingrained in so many people. And it was in me. So I thought these thoughts, I felt these emotions and that led my choices. I felt shy, I felt insecure, I felt powerless, led to a choice. Like, who am I? I, for a long time, it did hold back. I did hold back. I wasn't true, being true to myself. And because of that, I had the same experiences. So your experiences drive your emotions. Like, I didn't get any results. Like, I, ha I hadn't been on a date until I was 21 years old. I mean, it crushed me at the time because I felt like I'm so far behind of everybody else. What are they going to think of me? But because I judged those experiences, well, I drove more of those emotions. I, I felt more powerless. I felt more ashamed of being me. Led to the same thoughts, led to the same choices, led to the same experiences. This is how our personality is created. This is how I created a personality of being shy and insecure because at 14 years old, many of you might have heard that story already. Um, I was very confident. I was very bold in my life. And I decided I'm going to ask the first girl out on a date. And I got badly rejected. I mean, badly rejected. So this was a bold choice. But the experience was very negative. It was very negative. It, it crushed me. And led to uh, those emotions of feeling shame, of feeling powerless. Led to those thoughts. Maybe I, I'm not worth of this. Maybe I don't deserve this. Maybe I'm not attractive enough. And those thoughts led to different choices. I wasn't being bold anymore. I wasn't being confident anymore. It crushed my confidence. And because I made the same choices over and over and over and over again, I created the same experiences, created the same emotions, created the same thoughts, and it created a personality of being shy and insecure. This is how negative thoughts or emotions 
or your entire life experience works. But it works also in the positive aspect. So when you're beating yourself self up constantly or when you're being stressed all the time, well, how do you change your life? Well, you change your life with one single choice. And that choice alters your experiences and you can choose to see those experiences in a different light because we give them meaning. And because we give them meaning, we can see them as something that is happening for us. Like I could have seen this as the first step to becoming confident in speaking to other women, but I didn't. I chose to see it as something, yeah, I'm not deserving of love. Maybe I'm not attractive enough. Maybe I'm not cool enough or whatever it was. So those experiences and the meaning we give to those experiences then drives our emotions. If I would have said, um, this is the first step, that would have empowered me. It would have sent a message to me, well, you are in charge. So when you feel in charge, you'd you feel different emotions and you think different thoughts. I mean, that's my secret today. I feel very heavily in charge of my life. I know I create the experiences I want in my life by the choices that I make, by the emotions and thoughts that I think and feel. That is so powerful to understand. So you can change your life, you can change how you feel and think every single day by making different choices, by acting differently, by acting in alignment with what your best self would do every single day. That's the key. You need to act yourself into a new behavior. You need to act yourself into a new way of being. That's really vitally important to understand. It all starts with your choices. When you want to alter your life, you need to alter your choices because if you keep making the same choices every single day, you're going to get the same kind of life all the time because you're just recreating the past. You're just recreating a future that you already know exists. So when we want to change our life, we need to make different choices and step out into the unknown. So this is so critically important to understand. And the most important point about this is to understand that you are not your thoughts and emotions. They have been placed onto you by other people and by your own meaning that you gave those experiences. Those are not your thoughts. Those are not your emotions. So we need to disidentify from our own thoughts, from our own emotions. So when I was so shy and insecure, I deeply identified with being an introvert. I deeply identified with being shy and not confident. I believe this is who I am. But when you deeply believe this is who you are, guess what? You're robbing yourself off of the chance to do something about it. So many people believe they are anxious. They are stressed. It is just who I am. But this is not who you are. You can change it at any time. But when you're over identified with your identity, with your like who you are right now, you're never going to change. So we need to realize we are not our thoughts. We are not our emotions and we can choose who we're going to be. This is just a body. This is just our physical body in this physical reality, but it doesn't determine anything that we're going to experience in our life. We can choose our thoughts. We can choose our emotions. We can choose how we act every single day and therefore we can alter who we are going to be. This is so critically important to understand. Your personality isn't permanent. How you feel and think every single day isn't permanent. You can do something about it. You are in charge of your life. But first we need to disidentify from our own thoughts and emotions because if we believe they are true, they are who we are, well, it's pretty hard to change. So this is critically important to understand. You are not your thoughts. You are not emotions. You are not your past. You are not your past because you did the best that you could in the past based on what you knew. Maybe you didn't like it. Maybe it wasn't the best choices you could make. Accept that, learn the lessons and now move on and create a better future. Your past doesn't define you and your current circumstances also don't define you. They don't define your future. This is so vitally important to understand. But your identity creates your reality. Your identity creates your reality. So the beliefs you have about yourself 
which were created through the cycles, the beliefs of I am shy, I'm insecure, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, I'm not in shape, all those beliefs, I'm unworthy, that's a big one. Um, all those beliefs, they create your reality. So when I was so shy and insecure, I created the same experiences and because I did that, I got the same results. And because I got the same results, I reinforced that sense of identity and your identity is always, how you see yourself is always a self-fulfilling prophecy. Always. Therefore, if we want to change something in our lives, we need to change our self-image. We need to change how we see ourselves and when we do that, we are able to change our life. This is so vitally important to understand. I can't stress this enough. I mean, I say vitally important very, very often, but this is so important, so important to understand. And if you want to go deeper, I've got an entire playlist on how to change your personality, on how to change who you are. I will link that down below because it is so important to understand. But now let's move further. What are key practices that you can do to feel happy and positive all the time or most of the time because all the time, chances are that's pretty like unattainable. I mean, sometimes I feel down on myself. Sometimes I'm stuck in negative thoughts. That's just part of life. But how can we rewire ourselves? Well, the first and most simple thing you can do is practicing gratitude. I mean, gratitude will change your life, period, period. It will change your life. And I started this practice like one year ago, a little bit more than one year ago. And all I do every single evening, I write down three things that I'm grateful for in the last 24 hours. That's all I do. But it changes your biology, it changes how you feel about yourself and it changes how you see your progress. So often in life, we are not giving ourselves enough credit for the things that we do well. And because we don't integrate our wins, we feel kind of powerless. We feel like I'm not getting ahead. I'm not getting the results. But if you practice gratitude, you change how you feel and you change how you think about yourself and it alters how you're going to show up the next day. So gratitude is vitally important. It is simple to do. But once you practice that over and over and over again, every single evening, you change your emotional state. And when you change your emotional state, you change your thought patterns and then you change how you act every single day. So that's critically important. I highly recommend just three things that you are grateful for every single evening. And if you want to take it a little step further, well, you need to feel those emotions of love and powerfulness, so for example. And one thing I do, like I have a little daughter, she's now two years old, I can't believe that. Um, but what I do before I write down my gratitude list, I look at the picture of my daughter because it gives me those emotions of love and gratitude for life because every time I see her, it just feels, it feeds my positive emotional state. It makes me feel in love with life. So I feed those emotions and then I look at my gratitude list. Three things, just three things. But when you can feel those emotions and when you can like see, this is what they did today. This is what happened well today. And there's always something to be grateful for while you're integrating your power. You're rewiring your thoughts and your emotions to be more positive, to be more happy. So that's really vitally important to understand. Gratitude will change your life, period. Next one, obsession. This is, I mean, the word obsession, it doesn't mean anything to you probably right now. It's kind of confusing, but let me explain. Oftentimes we're obsessed about the wrong kind of things, but what you obsess about becomes your reality. And so often you obsess about our past. We obsess about what we don't have rather than what we have in our lives already. So for example, we focus on the lack of having an intimate relationship rather than focusing on the abundant love that we have in our lives already. That was my reality for a long time. I felt like I needed relationship. I needed intimacy to feel love, but you already have so many people who are cheering you on, who are loving you in your life. And you can f focus on that and see it as something. Yeah, I got so much love in my life. 
When you focus on what you have rather than focus on what you don't have, well, you get more of what you have already because your thoughts manifest in the outside reality and of course, how you think, feel and act every single day. Um, so that's the first part. We need to change our focus and then become obsessed about the future that is bigger and bolder and better than the one we are living today. This is so critically important. You need to have that vision in mind of where you want to go because when you have a vision in mind, your past becomes insignificant. You learned the lessons, but now you're not carrying it with you anymore because you have got something better to work on. So many good people are just suffering every single day because they don't have a vision for a future they want to create. They can't envision their dreams and because they can't envision it, every day looks kind of like the same. So vision is so vitally important. You need to have a vision for your life. You need to know where you're going and it doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to have a crystal clear picture, but some kind of sense of where you're going is so critically important to understand and so critically important to have all the success and abundance you want to have in your life. So become obsessed about something because when you become obsessed about something, well, it distracts you from your distractions. So it makes everything that is not serving that purpose insignificant and you just cut that out. So this is vitally important to understand. Next up is your morning and evening routine. This is so important. I mean, I'm saying critically important all the time, but this is so vitally important to understand that you need to start and end your day in the right kind of state. You need to start and end your day in a positive, emotional and like thinkable state. You need to um, take command of how you feel every single day. And you do that by starting your morning in a set morning routine that gets you into that creative zone rather than into that reactive state when you're just checking your phone, when you're just checking your emails, when you're just checking your messages. If you start your day wrong, you're going to feel wrong all day long because you don't feel in charge, you don't feel powerful. But if you start the day right with some exercise, some meditation and some learning, that's all you need. Well, you're going to feel powerful all day long because that momentum is almost impossible to stop. If you get three major wins in the morning before you start your work day, you're going to be impossible to stop. But if you get like three major losses after you wake up, well, that momentum is incredibly hard to stop as well. So you need to start your day in the right mindset, in the right emotional state so that you can show up powerfully, so that you believe in yourself, so that you believe in possibility, so that you believe that you have the capacity to figure anything out in your life. So you fuel that inner feeling of confidence. This is so vitally important to understand. And now once again, probably like 15 times already in this video, but I'm just going to keep on moving forward and I'm having fun right here. Um, then your evening routine, vitally important. Number 16, um, because how you end your day carries over how you start your day. So have you noticed sometimes when you're like going to sleep in a like stressed manner or anxious manner, you wake up the same way. So you carry that emotional state into your morning. So that's why I practice gratitude every single evening because it changes my emotional state. I feel grateful for what I have and I feel that love. I feel that power. I feel that freedom within my heart because I feel it right before I go to bed. I wake up feeling powerful. I wake up feeling grateful. And the times, to be fully honest, when I miss my evening gratitude practice, um, those are the mornings where I, I wake up a little bit groggy. I don't feel as powerful. I don't feel as good. And I have a morning routine that compensates that, but I notice that in how I wake up every single morning. When I don't do it, I don't feel as powerful. Sometimes I even got a headache. I mean, it's incredible. I, I couldn't believe it when I realized that. But those days when I'm not practicing my gratitude in the evening, the next morning, sometimes I have a headache. Sometimes I don't feel so powerful. So this is so vitally important and it's simple, 
but one hour before you go to bed, no technology, so you can sleep like well, practice gratitude, and then make your room dark and cold. That's all you need. But when you get those three things in place, you're going to sleep so much better and you're going to wake up very differently. You can't change how you feel and therefore how you think every single day by taking command of your morning and your evening. And then lastly, you need to gain awareness on how you feel and think every single day. I mean, you already got a grasp on that because you're watching these videos and you know, I want to be more happy. I want to be more like positive every single day. But most people, they're simply not aware of what is keeping them back. So for example, that awareness of, well, if I'm not practicing my gratitude, I sometimes get a headache. So it's really important that I practice it every single day. Those simple practices, you need to gain awareness of how they're impacting you. So become a scientist in your life, experiment a lot and see what makes you feel better and what makes you feel worse. So for example, like one year ago, I learned that you shouldn't watch, uh, look at your screens right before you go to bed. And I tried it and I saw an immediate difference and how I woke up and how I slept when I decided just one hour before I'm going to bed, I'm just going to remove all technology from my life. You need to become a scientist in your life and just test what works for you. But I promise you, for those simple practices that you do, you will feel an immediate difference. There is an immediate payoff right there. And you need to develop that awareness so that you know this is what's serving me, this is what's not serving me, and you need to then develop that awareness of, well, this is how I feel and think right now. And you can change that in a minute. Like, I'm feeling powerless right now? Well, what can I do to shift my emotional state? What can I do to think differently? Most often, a simple physical movement, like when you're exercising, you feel powerful afterwards. There is no doubt about it. So you need to have that awareness of how you feel and how you think. And when you develop that awareness, you become the master of your life. You become the master of your emotions and your thoughts. And therefore you are in charge. But if you're not aware, you don't know what's holding you back and you keep repeating the same things over and over and over and over and over again. So this is critically important to understand, maybe number 17 right here, but I'm having fun today and I hope you had too, because this video alone could change your entire life. It has life-changing potential if applied, if you applied in your daily life, I know that it can change your life. And until then next time, make sure that you subscribe down below, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Like this video so we trigger the YouTube algorithm and down below you will find my reinvent yourself challenge. It will show you exactly how to shift your identity and your self image, how to change your energy, how you feel every single day, how to become more confident, change your habits and develop more skill sets so that so that you can show up more powerfully at work and make a bigger difference. This challenge can change your life. It goes so much deeper than what we talked about already in this video. So I highly recommend that you join it down below. And then until the next time, make sure that you live fully, live openly, and be the leader of your life.